Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's hardware review. Today we're going to be reviewing coffee makers. Why? Because I've owned several of them. And I think that what I ended up with is, well for the most part what anybody who drinks coffee on a regular basis really wants from a coffee maker. Something that works. So what do I mean by that? Well, I've been drinking coffee pretty much my entire adult life. Every once in a while I'll switch it up for tea, but for the most part, coffee. Um, and I bought, you know, like the under the counter uh, coffee makers that you mount to the bottom of your counters. I've had standing coffee makers that you just put on your countertop. Um, and like I said, I've had several of them, and I've slowly, slowly, and I have slowly, wow, you gotta love the allergies, people, I have slowly moved up in coffee makers over the years because they kept breaking. You know, the first one I bought was probably was probably a $15 coffee maker. Lasted me three or four years and it broke. So I bought maybe a $60 coffee maker. And I believe that was a Black & Decker. I don't even remember what the first one was. It was that cheap. It was just some off-brand that doesn't even exist anymore. Uh, the Black & Decker didn't last any longer. About three or four years and it broke. Um, what was that? Craig? Now, Craig's were expensive. That was like a two, almost $200 coffee maker. And you had to buy the little cups for them. Um, which weren't cheap. Those little Craig cup things are not cheap at all. Um... And that thing only lasted seven years. And I was like, okay, fine. I'm going to get an industrial freaking coffee maker. And I did. I bought a bun coffee maker, the same type that you see in your restaurants. Um, $300 coffee maker. Every bit of it. And I put it on the counter. And it basically looks like the same one that you see here. It is an older model, of course, much older model. But essentially the same thing, same setup, same design. Just a lot older, the different colorings. Less plastic, actually. Um, that coffee maker ran for 20 years. Making one to two pots of, pots of coffee every day. And when it finally went out, the reason it went out was because the seals went bad in, internally. And it started leaking. The functionality was still there. Like, the heater still worked. You could put water in it, it would run it through it. The problem is, is that it also ran water all over my counter because, you know, it had a leak. <clears throat> Excuse me. Could I have made a gasket to replace that one? Yes, but I, I knew I would have been replacing all of the gaskets in it. And I didn't want to go through that. So what I did was I threw it away. And I got another one exactly like it. And that's the one that you see in the picture in front of you. Now, with these coffee makers... You get them basically how you see it here, except the the craft. That's what the little thing down here that the coffee runs into. That's what they call it. The craft that you get is all glass. Now I bought an upgraded model or upgraded craft with the metal bottom like this one. Exactly like this one. And I bought a 
metal grounds holder because the plastic one here after about five six years will get dry rotted or heat rotted I don't know what you want to call it but it dries out it cracks and breaks and the metal one will never do that um, as far as for the, the the metal upgraded craft that I got I got that because I make coffee early in the morning like 4 a.m. in the morning and uh, I'm not always the the most awake and alert morning person that you've ever met and I have a tendency to let's just say knock these crafts around and with the metal bottom on it it doesn't scare me when I hit the edge of the coffee maker when I'm putting it in uh, yeah it gives me a little ting but at least it's not the glass going and breaking so <laughs> that's why I got the upgrade and as far as the glass craft I just cleaned it you know ran it through the dishwasher and put it up in the cabinet it's always good to have an extra craft for your coffee maker in your cabinets because life is life and one day life may have you accidentally or someone else break this craft and if that should happen and you've got one sitting in your cabinet just waiting to go it won't upset you that much now you sure need to go online and order another one because you just broke one but at least you'll still be able to make your coffee right then and if you lost a whole pot of coffee and you still haven't had your morning cup you will be very happy that you have a spare craft sitting in your cabinet someplace um so basically with these units you notice there's no timer on this thing there, there's nothing on it to say that it is basic of the basic it is I turn this little thing off at night and when I wake up in the morning I flip this on put my coffee in here there's another little craft that comes with this for filling with water and it's the exact size you need I fill the water craft up I open this little lid up here and I pour all the water in and about three four minutes later I got a full pot of coffee down here this thing brews pretty quick truly it's less than five minutes and you got a fully brewed pot of coffee um so yeah if you want a coffee maker that works and it just works for home use, I suggest the, the Bunomatic Basic model, which is a VP17 series. Just got one burner, one fill port, one button. Real simple design. But what makes it cool is that this unit under what I would call normal home usage will last you for 20 plus years it just is what it is I don't know how long these things last in a uh, you know restaurant setting but I would guess it's probably half that or less and I understand why you know restaurants and stuff buy these because they're brewing probably 20 to 100 of these every day through one of these um, units now with home use obviously well I would hope that you're never going to have that kind of um, usage uh, otherwise you got a lot of people over at your house like hundreds but 
you know, normal home usage. You know, you, your wife, kids, uh, making coffee. You know, even if you were doing this four times a day and you were more, you know, brewing four cups of coffee or four crafts of coffee, I'm willing to bet that it would still last 20 plus years. Um, you know, I, I've never run it that often, but I have had people over, you know, for going out to the races or going to a concert or going to the rodeo, these sorts of things. Uh, so I might have people here for a couple of weeks visiting and we might go through three or four you know pots a day for the couple of weeks that they're there that they're here um and that's not a problem i mean that that was never an issue for it in that respect it still lasted 20 plus years even with that going on of course you know that's only like once a year it's getting used a couple of weeks you know twice as much as normal but um, I don't think that that's really what wears them out. I think it's just time that wears them out more than actual usage, at least on a home usage level. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yes, the air is still very heavy. In fact, uh, I'm having kind of like a half asthma attack this morning because the air is so thick. And I got my coolers going and everything else. It, it's better. I mean, you can hear it in my voice. I'm sure it's very nasally. Um, but that'll go away when the rain goes away. Uh, it's not raining right this second, but it probably will be raining sometime this morning. Anyway, the Bunomatic Industrial Series Coffee Maker is definitely my suggestion for anybody who drinks coffee on a regular basis. If you want a coffee maker that just works and will continue to just work for 20 plus years, this would be my suggestion to you. Well, that's my rant for the day. And I hope you enjoy the rest of yours.